I was standing down by the new poly tunnel, poly three, and just looking at the market garden through the new willow hedge that we planted last year uh, to act as a windbreak. It's on days like this when you really realize that you need a windbreak. So I'll do more of a feature on the vegetables sometime soon because Steve does such an amazing job. But I mean, this looks spectacular, row after row after row. And if you could have seen it just two or three years ago, three years ago, it was a mess. It was just hard, almost concrete, clay soil, which was impossible to grow anything on. And now we get incredible crops every year. So Steve does a fantastic job and he deserves all the plaudits he can get. Now, if we were really fortunate, we'd see the kingfisher fly across and go to his nest over there. Had a lot of sightings so far this year. Unfortunately, I'm not one of the people that's seen it yet. This is just a quick snapshot from the bird hide. But I promise you that I will do a bit more of a feature and you can try and identify the bird. Right, I'd like to give a shout out to Betsy and Jonah this morning. The other day when I asked for comments, I got a beautiful video uh, from them showing me some alpaca models that they'd made. I think they were made out of toilet roll holders, which is quite ironic really. I suppose that means that in the Willis family, they've had some toilet rolls. Wow. Hi, Hi Jeff. Jeff, we liked your video that you did and me and Jonah made some alpacas. Mine's called Albert and, and Jonah's is called Alberta. And what's the difference between um, an, owl, an, an alpaca and a llama? Bye! Bye! Well, these are alpacas. They're both part of the camel family and they have what's called a cloven hoof, so they have like two, two toes. Um, alpacas are smaller than llamas, and their ears are smaller as well. They have these pointy ears. Llamas have much bigger ears, like banana shaped, and they also have much longer faces, and they're about a six inches to a foot taller, llamas. Um, alpacas are bred for their wool, so they have a very, very fine fleece and they come in lots of colours. The um, llamas don't have anything like as many colours and they're also, their fleece is not as good and they've been bred really for, as a pack animal. They carry things. So when you see pictures of people climbing up Everest and all that, they often have llamas with them who are carrying some of the pack. So they're all part of the same family, but they are different. The other thing that people say about alpacas and llamas all the time is don't they spit well yes they do but mostly at each other and they very rarely spit at us unless they're spooked for some reason great question you guys <laughs>